Hi, my name's Nina Watson and I'm sharing my bathroom with House Beautiful. When people ask me what's my favourite feature in our bathroom or in any of our rooms, I find that a really, really difficult question to answer because for me it's the combination between the tiles, between the brass, between the lighting, um, the enamelware, the colours and textures working together to give the vibe that you're looking for. It's on lots of different items all working together. We renovated our bathroom in 2019. Um, it took longer than we thought it was going to. These things always do because it's a small space and a wall had to come down and also another wall needed an RSJ. It took a little bit longer than we thought it was going to. We had so many ideas that we wanted to try and bring into the space and a lot of them had to go because otherwise it was going to be too crowded, too cluttered um, and it wasn't going to be the calm vibe that we were looking for. So one of the key features of the bathroom that was really difficult to find was the sink um, and the problem we've got is the fact that this is a really narrow gap, this is only 60 centimetres so we needed to find a sink that was a family sink, not a cloakroom sink, that had an Edwardian Art Deco look to it that was narrow enough to have space between the shower screen and the wall so that it didn't look cramped. We blew the budget on the sink because we loved it. It was exactly what we were looking for. It was twice what we were expecting to pay for a sink. And it was like a ah moment where I saw the sink and I thought, I bet that's the right size. It just looked the right size. And I went in and it was. So when we were deciding on materials for the bathroom, we knew we had to try and find tiles that would work. And then we found this pale blue tile, the ones that go around the top, and we just fell in love with these pale blue medallion tiles. And that's when we had the start. So one of the other features of the bathroom is um, our Burlington shower bath. We originally wanted a cast iron bath, but we couldn't get one that would work in a corner with a shower without getting water seeping down the side. We had it sent off to a company called Heritage Painted Baths who painted it gloss black underneath and the feet as well so that it had the look that we were after even though it wasn't a cast iron bath and also you don't get the water seeping down the sides. We did actually tile all the way to the floor all the way around because uh, even though our tiler said you don't need to because no one's ever going to see behind the bath but I thought we all know. It did cost that a little bit more, but it was worth it to us just to know that that was all complete behind it. Although we went over budget in quite a few areas, we managed to save in quite a few areas as well by buying high-end items but getting them on eBay. So we bought this is Samuel Heath. We bought uh, this is Lefroy Brooks. This is also Samuel Heath. Instead of spending 150 to 200 pounds on each item, we were getting each item for maybe 25, 30 pounds. So these are the bath and the shower taps um, that are really, really heavy brass. Um, we actually bought them from eBay for £400, even though they retail at about £3,000. So this was the first item we bought for the bathroom and we love it and it weighs a ton. But it turns out that when the installer, when he went to, the, the plumber went to install it, it turns out it's not a wall hung tap. It's supposed to be on a stand. And so in order for him to install it into our wall without pulling the whole wall down, he was gonna to have to drill two steel rods into the wall, the length of the wall, and he was terrified it was gonna take our whole wall down. So he had to do loads of tests on it before he was prepared to tile around it. So the toilet we ended up buying from Aston Matthews, the same as the sink. Once we found the sink that led us to the toilet, we were going with a different toilet before. The detail on it is amazing. It's got this lovely little fluted bit that goes around the side. And they were the only company that did toilets that had this bit brass as well. So even when they did a brass flush and you could get brass hinges, 
for some reason they were all still plastic at the back or chrome at the back and this was the first company we found that actually did the brass pipe as well. I find this bathroom works really, really well for our lifestyle. Um, we don't live in a pristine home. We live in a home that's lived in and we enjoy all of the spaces. Everything doesn't have to be immaculate when you're using it. I love having a bath. I love it when the bath's really deep, when you're using oils, when you've got the lights dimmed. It's really wonderful to just say goodbye to the day. But I love having a really big shower as well with, you know, we've completely enveloped in the whole thing and the noise of it and everything. The cats love it because they like walk around the side of the bath and one of our cats likes to turn the tap on. So yeah, it works for all of us.